Sticky notes are pretty important when it comes to organizing NAN workflows. I kind of equate this to the comments that a programmer would put within uh, some sort of application, right? It's best practice for a programmer to leave comments along the way. So that way, when someone else takes a look at their code, whether it's in review or years down the road, they kind of know what is going on. The same is applicable when you're building out workflows in NAN. It's super important to put sticky notes along the way. In today's video, we're gonna be covering everything that you need to know about sticky notes. We're gonna cover how to put in different types of text. We're gonna cover how to change the color as well as embedding in links, embedding in images, and also YouTube videos. And by the end of this video, you should be able to properly put in sticky notes within your NAN workflows. Real quick, before we jump into this though, if you do need any help when it comes to building out any AI automations with NAN or any data needs for your business, I am taking on freelance customers. You can find my contact information down below in the description. All right, let's jump right into the video. All right, guys. So today's gonna be a little bit of a different video. What we're covering is sticky notes, right? And why we're doing this is Sticky notes, in my opinion, are like comments for a developer. And I know everyone going into these videos, you know, isn't a developer, right? Or doesn't have a background in like data analytics or data science. But when you program, it is super important to leave comments, right? And often, like if you're doing some sort of prompting to get code, right? Whether you use like a Claude code or whatever the case may be, right? You are gonna see that the generated code gives you comments, right? It tries to explain what is going on in some areas or describe like, hey, you know, it's good to know this section, this is what we're doing, right? So even large language models leave comments on codes because it's super important. And the reason why is like, number one, you need to explain what is going on, right? And like in the NAN sense, you're not gonna be the only person that looks over a workflow. While you might be the first person that develops it, right? If you wanna have this NAN workflow, last a while, you need to leave comments, right? Especially if there's some weird logic or whatever the case may be, right? It is super important to leave comments. And that's what sticky notes allow us to do, right? Um, you can't leave comments directly in a node, but you can put a sticky note above it, below it, on the side, behind it, it doesn't matter. And that's the purpose of this video, right? I just wanna go over some different settings for sticky notes, show you how to generate them. And, you know, kind of, again, explain, like, this is important. Again, a sticky note, you can think of it as a comment for like a developer. So first is like, how do we create a sticky note? And what we're gonna do, and I think we're just gonna just build this out to the side based off of everything. So number one is creating a sticky note. How you create a sticky note, you see this plus icon. If you go down one below, it says, add a sticky note. Now. There's two ways that you could do this. First, you could just click this. And honestly, that is how I create most of my sticky notes. I just literally go over here. Oh, let's grab this. But you can also see we have an option on this. You could do Shift S and look, it creates another one on that side of things, right? So, um, you know, use the keyboard shortcut or click over here. I personally just click over here. I just have that ingrained in my mind. We could do that, okay. Number two is changing the color on the sticky note. So again, we're just gonna create a new one over here. How do you change the color? Well, if you notice, there's this color palette over here. It says change color. You have all these different options, right? Now, I can't tell you exactly what these colors are because I'm colorblind, um, but yeah, this changes the color a little bit. Again, maybe you wanna have this in different sections, like um, this part is gonna be our AI agent section or whatever the case may be, or like this is, um, based off of conditional logic, put this color over here. And I've seen it in different sections of workflows, but regardless, you have this option. Personally, like I kind of just keep the same color most of the time, but I do see people in builds like change up the colors and that's how you do it. All right, number three is resizing your sticky note. This is quite simple. You can just go over here and you know just drag and drop, right? Like, Okay, grab the corner, right? This allows you to do the length, the height of it, things like that. If you only wanna change one, right? Like go over here and you can see that doesn't change anything else minus the height. Go over here, like that's the width. Super, super basic, right? And it makes sense over there. Okay. Number four is Markdown. So Markdown is different formatting and you can see over here, right? We have headers, like heading one, heading two, heading three, bold, italic, links, right? And this actually links over to any end. Then we have lists, right? So you can really get pretty complicated 
on this side of things. And if, like, if you're selling some sort of template or like you're giving away templates, maybe you want to have Markdown on this side of things, right? And let's walk through how we can do for each of these. So what I'm gonna do is just grab this sticky note over here. And what we're gonna do first is talk about headers, right? And also just to show you, like if I click in over here, right? This is not the same as it looks on here. So first on the headers, right? Um, and let me just delete all this by default. If you wanna getting a header one, you put one uh, hashtag or pound side, and then you say the heading one. So like, let's just go for this example, right? And you can see this populates as heading one, but you have to start the line with that. You can't say this is not a heading one and put a thing like this, right? It's just, it's not gonna work, right? This is just all text over here. That pound sign doesn't get impacted. Even if you go like that, right? Like it doesn't work. You got to start the line with it, right? So if you wanna do heading two, you'd put two of these together, right? Pretty self-explanatory. And I should say heading two here. And if you want three, right? So one, two, and three, you put heading three like that. And you can see now we have heading three, okay? Pretty easy on that side of things. Now what we're gonna talk about is bold versus italic. So bold versus italic. And these are other formats that you'll often see. Um, so pretty easy, right? And bold over here, two stars. So whatever is put inside the two stars, like this is bold text, right? And you can see like it's bold, right? In comparison. And then we'll do a new line and say this is italic text. And what's cool is it doesn't have that property where head ears do, right? So we can say like in on this side of things, hey, this sentence, sentence has, and let's say bold, bold and italic text, right? And you can see it has both, right? Whereas this would not work if you added this specific headers, which makes sense, right? So let's remove all of this. And now let's take a look at links. So links and what a link will allow us to do. Again, if we go over to this example, you know, click over to another site. So what we'll do, I'm just gonna copy this over here because I feel like that's the easiest, right? So all we wanna do is whatever we wanna have as the text put in this brackets. So like, a uh, linking text to any N website, right? And we have that over there. And then inside over here is your URL, right? Like this is the URL. Now I'm obviously just gonna replace this with the any N website. You can go over here and you can see all that's over there. And if you wanna change this, right? Like let's go to my website um, and you can see where I'm at data science. I go over here. It goes to the website. Now, one thing to mention too, is you need to have this HTTPS over here as well, um, just based off the site, right? So I believe if I don't put that there, we are gonna get an error. And you can see this just takes me to uh, any end sticky notes, right? Um, so make sure that you put HTTPS if it's a secured website or like if it's not, right? Put HTTP, uh, but I would, be concerned linking to a website that doesn't have the security with that S over here. Okay, so that's that side of things. Next, let's talk about creating lists. So two different options on this side of things. So I'll just grab and drop these over here and show you. So, you know, often you'll get lists that are ordered, right? So this is the order list. You can see we go from one, two, you can keep going forward, right? Three, four, five. And this would be like a few of steps and maybe like, the order doesn't matter, right? So you would create a bullet list, which is these. And the difference, right? One dot, two dot, like, okay. Three dot, item three, right? Four dot, item four, right? That's how you do it, pretty basic. Otherwise, like just put a star, like to do, record notes video, right? Pretty basic. And, and you can see that's been generated on that side of things. Again, right? Pretty easy. This is kind of helpful if you want to talk about like what's going on in a, in a sequence of nodes. We have a really complicated workflow. Okay, so I'm going to delete that. We covered everything for Markdown. Um, additionally, right, 
I've already talked about it a little bit, but notes can be placed behind nodes. Again, you can use this to label sections. So I have this just note over here for execute workflow and you can see like the sticky note, like by default goes behind it, right? So again, when we talk about colors, like, hey, let's change this color up. Like, cool, this is in this section, right? Like this is to say, this is like the, I don't know, trigger section. And I guess I should have put this off to the side, but um, you know, you can label this like, okay, we'll put over here triggers, right? Cool. Cool. Um, I actually made my mistake real quick for getting a space, but you can see I can label it and it starts looking a little bit nicer. Okay. And lastly, two other things I wanted to show you, which you can embed in over here. So you can either embed in an image which you find online, or you can also embed in a YouTube video. So I just grabbed one video here in our playlist, right? With this combining both Streamlit and NAN talks about webhooks. Like this is a more advanced video. You'll learn this a lot later on, but um, let's go to the image first. So all I do on this side of things, right? And I literally just copied this um, from the sticky notes side of it, but just put over here source example, which you should probably just put your name of the image. Like I'll just put over here rag, right? And then grab the image URL on this side of things. So I just right click image online and this is where I grabbed this rag image from. So full credit over here, I didn't develop this image. And then I just put full width here at the very end after the PNG. So hashtag or pound sign full width. And you have this on this side of things, right? So right click, copy image address, put that over here, full width. And then I guess just right over here, it doesn't really populate on this side of things. Like you can see, like even I do all this, like it doesn't label it as rag. Um, and you can see like, there's like nothing on that side of things. This is a little weird to resize images sometimes on here, I find. Um, but you know, maybe like you want to have notes and there's maybe like a workflow you want to copy or something like that, right? Copy the image address, put it to the side and start building it from there. Right. So that's just that example, right? Again, brackets, like probably your comment or whatever you want to have this, um, you know, if, if from the web design perspective, this would be kind of like alt text, right? and then just put in the URL of the image online. And I just put hashtag full width just for it to take up the full width on the side of things. Cool. And lastly, we jump into the YouTube video, which, you know, I think there's a lot of good things with this YouTube because what you could do on the customer side of things, or, you know, if you're, if you're putting out templates, like you could say, Hey, this is the video walkthrough of how this works and upload an unlisted video. All you got to do is put the at sign. You put YouTube inside over here and then you grab the end string of that YouTube video and it's embedded in here and it's cool. Like you can resize it up to a certain point. Like you can see it's been resized. I just put this over here because it's easy on that side of things. And there's, listen, there's probably more things you could do with Markdown and things like that. But I think this is going to get you probably like 90% of the results that you want to have with Markdown and sticky notes within any end. So guys, like we covered a lot in this video covering sticky notes. So again, like two ways you can start out. Like I just go over here to click it, but if you do shift S and maybe we'll do like a video on keyboard shortcuts, um, because people do like these just keyboard shortcuts, like you can create a note on that side of things. Again, you can change the color, just do this color palette over here in the future. You know, I probably can see NAN allowing you to type in a color code and changing that out. So. And all, again, if any team watching, probably that'd be a, a cool feature for some people. On that side of things, resizing, like super basic. We do this all the time. You can add in Markdown over here, right? This is just your basic example, headers, bold, links, right? Um, again, nodes are placed in front of notes. So that way you have this in the background, you can have the text behind it. You can organize your workflows. And lastly, you can put in images, remember, put in your like your alt text here, put in the URL, I put in hashtag or pound sign full width. And lastly, embed YouTube video, just grab the string uh, at the very end of the YouTube video at and put YouTube here in the brackets. And guys, that is your video on any end sticky notes. Thanks for watching. If you found some value, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Um, I have a full playlist of any end videos, you know, currently well over 30. My goal is to probably make over a hundred. So if you want to learn how to use any N efficiently, like check out that playlist as well. Thanks again. And I'll catch you guys in another video.